and I want to say that for a little moment, we just kind of burnt the Cardinals while ago. There's a little thing I come by to show you now, and that is how we are going to paint the beaks orange. So, I've got the Harvest Orange paint. You're going to use pretty much any kind of orange to do this, but this is how I choose to paint the little cardinal beaks. And I've got all kinds of shades of orange among my paints. I've got burnt orange and so many other things, but you know, there's certain colors we buy specifically for certain things, so I just kind of took the little burnt orange paint and as you can see, paint the little cardinal's beak. And there's a certain other one we're going to work on too while we're here and try to get the little extra work done into these guys and Oh, I tell you all, just make a little joyful little bit of work out of them. And I say, I say that it's just kind of like the things that work their way in. I tell you all that it's just kind of like how the little joyful things come about. Make us all see things a little differently and easily and when it comes down to just what little bitter things we do I say that it's just going to be probably at least give for us what we say is going to be a wonderful harvest I tell y'all that it gets to be the fall time and then it gets to be the winter time and you know, we have Halloween and Thanksgiving in the fall, then we have Christmas in the winter, so this kind of gets to be the time of year when it's just more the time that people are likely to be out to buy things, and I'll tell you all that there's little things I've put on my little sites and put my little pumpkins, denim pumpkins and denim and felt turkeys on Etsy, they were probably among the things that seemed like they sold a little less last year and trying different things with different works just to kind of see how they're going to come about and then just try to, you know, make a little work come along. And I tell you, I don't know what I did with that other cardinal. Well, here it is, and we're going to paint along the beak on this one as well. There's going to probably be a little place where we'll take a little break in the video to go and rinse out the brush. I forgot to bring any water over here to do that in, and so that's just kind of the little work that we've gotten ourselves into doing, and Oh, for a little work we have, the paint is coming a really long way. Sometimes, sometimes it gets a little easy to talk in my little run-on sentences and try to kind of keep things a little easy and better for us in the long run, just to kind of work our way about this. I tell y'all that there's a lot of good kind people I meet on the internet, put my crafts out there just to show people what I do and what I make and how I go about what I do and how I live my life each day to the best and I say that this little work is just making its own way out and there's a little time when we kind of got a little bit of orange to go to the beak and make it so it's going to be a bright new day and a color for us all and oh I tell you all this little time of our life when we just 
make things in the colors we make them in, the colors we use. Wow, and I tell y'all a little bit of joyful color in things. It's like we finally got this other cardinal done. And we're just going to take a little moment out to go rinse out the brush as we do a certain other step here. Now as for the next little step we take, one thing I forgot to do was to kind of look for some black paint because that's what we need to have out to do this. And I tell y'all I get forgetful about what I'm doing. <coughs> you have to forgive me, bear with me. I'm kind of dealing with different things right now so we're gonna find it wherever it is and did a little hunting around and it finally turned up I'd say that there's going to be a little work involved here and how we're going to do this I say that I've kind of got a couple of little cardinals to which I have already put in the little orange for their beaks and this next little step here is going to be to paint the black around this certain area of their face like you can see that I'm starting to do here where I've drawn the lines in and between those lines and the beak there's little places to kind of paint in and make it so the cardinal's going to come out just as good as it should sometimes I think there gets to be little places where you know the paint can get a little out of control and sometimes just sometimes we work our way out of that and about that try to get it so we can kind of make it where it kind of just um needs to be and then show how we've got the skill put in to kind of make this masked little area around the face so just to tell you all that that was what those particular lines were drawn for was to add this little area in and of course that guy in the book who whose book this came out of he just paints the whole thing but I decided as a better alternative for me that I would just kind of like, you know, kind of put mine in some red dye. I kind of like to use my own little unique ways of doing things despite what the pattern in the book does or says. And then that's kind of what I think sort of makes it a little bit more your own work kind of makes it a little bit different from somebody else's and as for the little work that gets done here I like to say that this is going to be a place where we make some lines and I use a little thin brush here a brush with a thin tip and thin bristles just to kind of make out the little parts that are in it and then I see that you know given the way a cardinal's eyes are colored if we kind of keep them white as the wood and when they're dyed red it's going to kind of show up nice and even because cardinals I read have orange eyes but it's kind of a little bit hard to tell that because the eyes are so small and hard to really tell the differences and all the colors and things like that you see and 
then we're going to kind of work our way about every little step we put into this to make it so it's going to be a little brighter to us and work its way to our ways and I say that this is how it comes out after doing all that much and we'll put that aside and we're going to take the same little step and add it along to this one as well some of these little steps we might even have to take outside the video for some of them because you know like I painted the beaks on these ones before the video so I could have a couple on which to demonstrate how I painted the beaks and have a couple on which the beaks would already be dry so I could demonstrate how to paint the black part and do it all in the same video you know so that was how we kind of worked about this to make it so it's going to be a little interesting to see and interesting way to go about our work and how we all kind of know what we're all just looking for in what we do oh a little time when work shall be sufficient and i say that this is going to be my state bird i tell you all there's been times I've kind of shown them on Facebook in all the different ways they come, all the different ways I've done them. And like I want to say, I usually do the burning part first so that that way, whenever it comes down to the point where you finally put it in the dye, I mean, you know, the dye is mixed with denature al alcohol and denatured alcohol is flammable so you don't want to put the wood burner on any wood that already has denatured alcohol in it or else you will cause it to combust and you're better safe than sorry so I'd say that this is how we make this along to how we get the work to come along the best way we can I say, I say that this is just how work shall make itself to us, be a little ways to put a little more black into the part of the cardinal where this is what we're most likely to see, and I say that some little work is just going to brighten its way all to us and all around us, I say. Oh, I tell y'all, it's like this little time in our lives when we make a little match in heaven. Oh, I tell y'all that this is just kind of the thing we want things to be. I tell y'all that I'm about to finish this up soon, come down to the last part of this, and... Hopefully we can do another video soon where we're going to demonstrate a few other things. Maybe come back and kind of redo a little burning on the beak so that we won't have to do that after it soaks. Because the little line, the little burnt line, sometimes the orange paint might kind of fill into it a little bit. So we kind of want to deal with that the best we can. And get the burning of that part taken care of before we soak it in the dye with the denatured alcohol so that's how this little work is coming about its way to make it so we're going to see a little bit in us and what we're doing and how this is going to fit all the little work we have in our lives I say that I'd like to show a little more as soon as I get around to more. We'll tell you all that I put the baboon back away so it wouldn't get messed up by anything. And as for now, 
you see how this turned out with the eyes and everything and put that aside and then kind of close up these paints and get to where we can finally wash out this brush interesting how we use the two halloween colors to paint on the cardinal so we're gonna put all this aside and just wanted to say thank you for watching and take care